Life is good. Is it? Really? Hi, my name is Susie Porter, and I help women rewrite their lives so they can create their happily ever after and make life good. <laughs> it makes a nice bumper sticker, doesn't it? Life is good. It's a nice idea. Life is good in my neighborhood. But what does that mean, right? What makes life good? What makes your life good? For many of us who got the message early on in life that life was hard, unfair, or even painful, we didn't have the safety or the luxury of having an easy breezy attitude. For many reasons, we had to be the adult in our family and our childhood was not a safe place. So we had to adapt. For a kid who doesn't feel safe or seen or protected, Within their family, the idea of having boundaries uh, doesn't even make sense, doesn't even occur to you. A few years ago, when I was thinking about the expression, don't let your guard down, I realized that I would never constructed a guard in the first place. <laughs> I didn't have one to let down. I never put one up. I never constructed one. There wasn't, it wasn't allowed. It wasn't even, you know, it just wasn't a thing. I was like a turtle without a shell. I was like the soft, dewy insides without the hard candy shell. <laughs> and I never really thought about it that way before. I learned from Dr. Elaine Aaron's book, The Highly Sensitive Person, that I was an HSP. But it never dawned on me that having healthy boundaries is a life skill and a practice that kids learn early in, early in life. Or maybe they just internalize healthy boundaries because their boundaries are respected as they grow up. If as a child, your boundaries weren't respected, how would you even know? As young children, we accept that our environment, our family is normal. Why wouldn't we? We don't have the context to compare or the cognitive ability to understand what's normal and healthy as opposed to what's unhealthy and abnormal. How could we? We don't have anything when we come into this world and our family teaches us everything. We just don't know anything. <laughs> We're brand new, right? We learn as we grow and we exist within our families. So is life good? Maybe. Although for the sake of clarity, maybe we could broaden our definition of what is good. Does Oprah Winfrey have a good life? Did Maya Angelou have a good life? Does Martha Beck, my favorite life coach, have a good life? All of these women and many, many, many more powerful women were raped in childhood. This may sound extreme, but I want to make the point that what might be defined as bad, unlucky, terrible, or traumatic can also be the catalyst for our deepest healing, joy, and yes, power. I am not trying to minimize the pain or damage of early childhood sexual abuse. I would never, ever, ever do that. But what I'm trying to say is that the very thing that felt like a curse can become our greatest blessing, can be the sacred place within you that opens up to all the power in the universe, all the love, all the forgiveness, all the miracles, all the music, all the art, all the creativity, all the joy could be found in that very early wound. For those of us who've done the heavy lifting of healing early childhood sexual abuse. The power that comes from getting to the other side of that is intense and strong. To be able to forgive the unforgivable, to be able to alchemize and transmute the stigma and the grip of shame, that constant feeling of self-loathing and unworthiness and helplessness and depression, 
to be able to overcome the identity of being a helpless victim or worse, the dirty little girl who caused it all, to be able to expand and evolve from powerless to powerful is the most exciting journey on earth. Is life good? What do you think? I'd love to hear.